This is actually wild. Did you know you can download almost any Shopify store, all of their products, all of their prices. So you can do your own analysis and price comparison. Let me show you how. So what you need to do is you need to find a Shopify store. So I'm just clicking through 50 best Shopify stores and I've clicked on the first one here. And then what you need to do is in that URL, just add an additional little bit that says slash products.json, J-S-O-N. And what that gives you is in plain text, a complete list of all of their products. But what can you do with that? Well, let me show you how we can convert that into a table that you can then open up in a tool like Excel. So to do that, we're gonna go over to Google Colab. It's an online Python environment now for you. Click away from this video. If you're not a Python person, stick with it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So it's as easy as importing two packages requests and import pandas as PD, okay? And what we're gonna do is we are going to do something like response is equal to requests dot get, and you've probably already guessed by now, we're gonna get that same URL with the products.json at the end. Shift enter on that. And if that's all worked out well, I should be able to say .json, open and close brackets. And now we've got that data available to us in a Python environment, which is really, really cool. Um, and if we go all the way to the top, we can see here, there is a key called products. So we can say something like products, and that's gonna give us a list of all of the products. And it's so easy. What we can do is we can say something like PD for the pandas, which we imported up there, uh, data frame, capital D, capital F, open close bracket around what we just had there as a list. And now we have a table, it's that simple. Um, and if we wanted to get really technical, we can say dot two CSV and we can say Shopify underscore data dot CSV. And that's now given us all of those products. We now have all of those products downloaded to uh, Shopify dot CSV and I can download that and view it right here on the screen. And here it is. So now we have a complete list, their ID, the title, the handle, a whole bunch of information, the vendor, the product type, the different tags that they've used, along with uh, not just all of that, but also the description. And then when we talk about product variant, that includes things like the stock keeping unit and of course, the price. So this is a really rich data set. Now, if this is of any interest to you, make sure you're subscribed and drop a comment if you want me to go deeper and show you how to collect multiple pages of data and pull back all of those really cool variants. Um, so you've got a really rich data set to work with. Thanks so much.